If you're like me and you bought a camera that uses a CF Express card, you probably noticed by now that the prices for them are very expensive. Well, fear not, because today we're going to be building our own card using an NVMe SSD. So let's get started, shall we? Alright, so looking at the box, we're greeted with this little card here. And then, this is the packaging. So it's going to open this up. Alright, so there's the card. Oh, this is interesting. I think I see thermal paste. Okay, so here we have a little thermal pad. That's probably not going to be sufficient. We'll see. And this looks like a adhesive. Yep, so that's the adhesive. And then this is supposed to be a sticker. And you just specify the card size. And then here we have this. Now this is really funny. It's literally just taped in right there. But yeah, it's a very basic adapter. Then my SSD came here. So I paid 60 bucks. This is a 512 gigabyte. And uh, yeah, it's a very small SSD. So we're going to go ahead and start installing this. All right, so it looks like it's going to go in here like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this sticker. Be careful removing these stickers because you void your warranty on a lot of these SSDs. If the sticker is gone, I'm just going to gently remove it. I'm going to install it on the other side so that we don't lose it. So basically just put it here. There we go. So now we're just going to stick this in here like this. And there we go, just like that. And then we're gonna attach this. Now, before we attach this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a thermal pad. I'm not gonna use the one they provided me um, because it's, first of all, it's small, but I have a thicker one. So let me go get that real quick. All right, so as you can see, I went ahead and just installed a thick, well, not thick, but a thin thermal pad that covers the whole thing. So now we're just gonna attach the thing on top of here. Undo this, and this is a very, very stick. I'm gonna go ahead and stick this in here. All right, and now we're gonna apply the label. All right, so there we go. We're gonna put this in the camera now and see how it works. Now, in terms of taking pictures, I can keep going. But anyways, as you can see, pictures are perfectly fine. There's no issues. Now, we do run into a little bit of an issue in terms of video. I was able to do, so this is a Nikon Z9, and I was able to do 8K, 8-bit, H.265, no issue. I can record as long as the card can record. 10-bit, H.265, 4K, 8K and 4K, no issue. Now, when it comes to ProRes, I was able to do 4K, 30fps, ProRes, 422, no issue. At 60fps, I did have an issue at one point, but when I recorded again, it didn't come back. So, mixed results there. Now, when it comes to ProRes RAW at 4K, this card stops recording less than a minute. It, it just it just says, like, the recording has stopped. I'm not sure if it's overheating or the card's not fast enough. I'm assuming it's overheating because this card can do 1800 megabytes per second, right? So, it's probably overheating. Same with Nikon's NRAW video format. It also has that issue. So if you're doing this for taking pictures or you're going to use this for H.265 format video, then it'll have no issue. But if you're going to use ProRes or Nikon's Enera, this solution is not going to work. Now, they sell two of these cards. I bought the one that, that I'll put a link in the description. But I did order the second version, which is a all aluminum enclosure. So once I receive that, I'll put in the comments, I'll put like a pinned comment letting y'all know if that one works better or not. But I'll put a link in the description to both cards that you, you guys can buy. But like I said, for most people, this is gonna be perfectly fine. Unless you work with ProRes, this has no issue. This is a 512 gigabyte card, and my cost was 60 for the SSD, and I think it was around, let's say 50 for the adapter. So that's $110 for a 512 gigabyte Samsung SSD-based CF Express card. Well, hope that helps. Subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.